Hey guys, I'm Robin Linders from GrillGirl.com. Welcome to my backyard out here on the Caloosahatchee River in Fort Myers, Florida. I'm partnering with my friends over at Kingsford, Walmart, and Masterbelt to bring you the weekly virtual smokehouse tour as we teach you how to master flavor in your own backyard as we know we're all spending more time at home these days. I'm gonna teach y'all how to make my red, white, and blue cobbler, which is the perfect dessert to make for any patriotic holiday like this upcoming Memorial Day weekend. So let's get started on our recipe. Everything you see here today can be found at Walmart or walmart.com. And don't forget to check out their grocery app. It's the bomb. You can have groceries delivered straight to your car and in some cases straight to your house. I'm a big fan, it's a huge time saver. All right, so we have got three cups of berries. It's a cup and a half of strawberries, a cup and a half of blueberries. Use what you can find in season. Raspberries would work great for this recipe as well. So don't forget the lemon. This is a really big part of the recipe because it really brightens the flavors and helps the juices come out of the berries. So one lemon and first we're gonna use this for zest. I'm a big fan of lemon zest. It really just brightens the flavors of, of everything you cook with. Now a tip is don't make this berry mixture until you're ready to put it on the grill because sitting in lemon juice and sugar is really going to make it super juicy so you don't want it to be too liquid when you cook it so just don't do this too far in advance it's so easy you won't need to okay so we've got our lemon juice we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla Now the white part for the red, white, and blue cobbler is coconut. So you can use unsweetened or sweetened. It's usually easier to find sweetened at the store. We're gonna do a half cup. So this is the white of the red, white, and blue. I really love this recipe because it's so easy. You really just can't screw it up. And this recipe, the basic formula is fruit plus cake batter cooked in the grill. So use whatever you have on hand. Now in the recipe, I actually developed this recipe a while ago for my friends over at Walmart. And it's hugely popular and so easy. So you can use sugar, you can use honey, which I'm gonna use today. You can use stevia. The berries in season are pretty sweet on their own, so you don't have to add a ton. You can always reduce the sugar. So half a cup of sugar, half a cup of stevia, like I said, or even a sugar substitute, whatever works for you. Slow like honey. Honey is not in a hurry. I might add a little, the last little bit in there. Okay, so we got our fruit. Easy peasy, it's gonna sit here in the lemon juice and the, and the honey and do its thing. So let's switch gears and make our batter. Okay, so I buy a very basic cake mix at Walmart. You can use pretty much any vanilla golden cake mix. This one's 99 cents at Walmart, it's, a, it's pretty foolproof, but if you're gluten-free, use a gluten-free baking mix. Or if you're, you're keto, actually berries and coconut if you use no sugar um, or sugar substitute, can be keto friendly. Those are fruits that are lower on the glycemic index. So, you know, use what works for you and really make it your own. Like I said, the beauty of this rustic cobbler is that it's virtually foolproof. It's very hard to screw it up. So we've got our cake batter. One egg. and a half a cup of water. I mean, seriously, y'all, you just can't get much easier than this recipe. So mix this up, just get, work on getting most of the lumps out. What's really awesome about this recipe is that you, you really can use what you have on hand. You wanna throw some chocolate chips in, or peanut butter, or nuts, or 
whatever, you can really make it your own. And it's it's so easy to make a cobbler after you've cooked your main dish on your grill. The grill's still hot, throw the cobbler on, let it do its thing, hang out with your friends, boom, 30 minutes, it's done. It's so easy. I'm a big fan of cooking in cast iron on your grill. I'm a big fan of cooking desserts and cocktails and all kinds of stuff that you might not think about cooking on your grill. Think of your grill like an outdoor oven. Anything you can cook in your oven, you can cook in your grill. And you get the benefit of that smoke and flavor that you get from Kingsford charcoal that you wouldn't get in your oven, right? You wouldn't get it in a gas grill either. So let's pour this fruit mixture in here. I just love the colors of this cobbler. It's just so patriotic and, and fun and easy. I love easy. So you guys, so easy. Pour your batter on this fruit mixture. That's it. And if you're like me, I might let my kid lick the batter, even though I know it's got egg in it. I'm sure he's eating worse things. <laughs> or raw egg, I should say. So just spread it around a little bit so that the batter is just dispersed equally. And again, this is a, a rustic cobbler. It's really hard to screw it up. And it's so pretty. I love that this cobbler utilizes patriotic colors because it's just so pretty when you serve it for Memorial Day or Fourth of July or even Labor Day and you can you can have this cobbler to kind of match your accessories or any decorations or flags you might be using to be patriotic for the holiday. So I like to be the hostess with the mostess and, and color coordinate. I have a red, white, and blue burger on my website at grillgirl.com. You guys can also check out that's a really fun patriotic play on a recipe for a major grilling holiday. <laughs> Even though we all know that it, every day is a good day to grill, not just your holidays. Am I right? One thing I forgot to mention, a little butter. So this is just going to melt and, and get gooey and just bring everything together. All of this thrown in this cast iron pan. Now we're going to put this on our master-built gravity-fed smoker. I don't know if you guys remember this, but I gave you all a little tour of this last year when I was competing at the World Food Championships. This is a cool grill. Why? Because it's actually the first grill like this in its category. So it's, it's kind of a game changer in that it's a charcoal grill, but it's got the control that you might expect from like a gas grill or a pellet grill. So essentially you're going to pour your charcoal lid. It's gravity fed. You light it at the bottom. It has a fan that can basically controls the fire because air is fuel in a charcoal grill. And you've got all these temperature probes and everything. It's, it's just a really cool grill. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this new entry into the market. It's, it's definitely a game changer. Okay, so we have taken our grill, I've heated it up to 350. So again, like I said, when you're cooking dessert or anything on your grill, think of it like an oven. So if I was baking a cobbler in my oven, I would cook it on indirect heat, which means the ambient heat <clears throat> at 350. So that's what I'm going to do on the grill too. So. I've heated this baby up to 350. I'm gonna cook it on this rack so I'm not on direct heat. So here we go, you guys. Here's this beautiful cobbler. So this is gonna go on this, this top rack here. So we're essentially cooking indirect like you would in an oven. So we're gonna let this bake in the grill for about 20 to 30 minutes. You just need to eyeball it just like you would a cake once it starts to get golden and it starts to bubble and come together then essentially you're done it's so easy you, you virtually can't screw it up uh, so if you're you're hanging out with your friends and you, you're having drinks and 
and you're having a good time, you know, just set yourself a timer. Boom, easy. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Let's give this cobbler a quick check. And oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so pretty. The cake is getting all bubbly. It smells delicious. It looks like a cake baking. I'm really excited. Give it 10 to 15 more minutes and I think we will be golden and ready to pair this bad boy with some ice cream and happy faces. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Let's check our cobbler and see where we are. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wait for this to cool down before I have a big bowl of it. Oh my word. Is that pretty or what? You guys, thank you so much for spending time in my backyard with me as part of the virtual smokehouse tour. It's been a real pleasure to hang out with y'all. I hope you learned a few things and I will see you on the next video.